On forums all over the web, there is a cute puppy encouraging people to do very bad things, like smoke crack and worship Satan. This puppy is known as Advice Dog. Advice Dog is an image macro consisting of an adorable puppy set against a colorful rainbow background, giving very bad advice. And while Advice Dog's suggestions may seem cruel and malicious, the meme has very innocent origins. Awkward adolescent first kisses. On September 4th, 2006, a user named Markio started a thread on the MushroomKingdom.net forum entitled, Guide to Kissing. According to the thread, Markio was distraught by the fact that he had never kissed a girl and was trying for a part in his school's play with a kissing scene. Markio's request for help was met with sincere, honest reactions like, I've never kissed a girl before, and I have no advice, seeing how I've never even come close to getting that far in a relationship. As the thread went on, filled with speculation of what it would be like to have your first kiss, a user named TEM posted a simple photo as a reply. It was a picture of a puppy on a rainbow background. This adorable image was met with replies like, it looks like a board game, kiss the puppy. And this is the single greatest picture ever posted on this site, ever. And I can't even explain why. Visually, TEM's photo is a one-two punch of cute on cute, a seemingly sarcastic comment about the heave-inducing nature of the thread. We contacted TEM, real name Evan Harrington, asking him what prompted him to post the image. I originally created the image after taking a picture of my dog, Boba Fett. I saw her happy face and it inspired me to make a rainbow frame around her head. It isn't any deeper than that. I would say the main inspiration for it was the royal rainbow from the Katamari Damacy games. Evan's happy puppy photo remained popular on the Mushroom Kingdom boards and was later voted the top post of 2006 by other forum members. By June of 2008, happy puppy would be brought to the image board 4chan. Thanks to the simplicity of the image, text could be added without covering any important details. The appeal of Advice Dog comes from the juxtaposition of obscenity and cuteness, tapping into the enjoyment some feel when corrupting something innocent. Just like Anonymous corrupted LOL into lulls, they'd now corrupted this innocent, happy puppy into a bad Advice Dog. Advice Dog's popularity was further solidified on July 5th, 2008, when the image became the 76 millionth post on 4chan, known as a 76 million get. Everyone loved making Advice Dogs. And while it was already quite easy for anyone with basic Photoshop skills to participate, a site called memegenerator.net would make it almost effortless. Just enter some text and you've got meme. Advice Dog's simple format made it easy to replicate, and soon other variations began to appear. Courage Wolf. Depression Dog. Velociraptor, Socially Awkward Penguin, Foul Bachelor Frog, and many more, each with countless iterations of their own. On October 26, 2009, Cartoon Network's Adult Swim block used Courage Wolf in one of their bumpers, the short interstitials played between commercial breaks. On forums across the web, there were those who were upset at seeing a 4chan meme getting mainstream television exposure, seeing it as a sign of a dead meme. Those who idealize memes as some kind of hip underground knowledge often feel that it's lost its appeal once they see it on TV. This distress stems from the belief that 4chan and other internet culture hubs are some sort of secret clubhouse unknown to the mainstream, an assumption made only by noobs. With an Alexa score of 602 and a Quadcast rank of 646, 4chan itself is anything but a secret. To assume that Adult Swim would be unaware of it is naive. In fact, it's possible that Adult Swim knew fully well that using Courage Wolf would cause a backlash from internet nerds, which would actually increase traffic to their website. While it's only natural to become distressed when your favorite band sells out, to treat memes like exclusive knowledge is to forget the very purpose of memes, to propagate. Those who propagate the most win, and those who create the content that propagates the most write their way into internet culture history. So here's a little piece of advice for you. 